Today we're getting an inside look at Providence's recycling program and here to talk with me about it is Mike Geller. So Mike, let's start with where we're standing. Where are we? So we're in the Providence Recycling Center, Northeast Portland, where all the recycling comes from our seven Northern Oregon hospitals to be hand sorted. Tell me about how all this waste or the recycled items get here. So the caregivers in the hospitals, we try to make it simple for them because, you know, they're taking care of patients, etc. So everything that's recyclable that's on the signage goes into a blue bag. We have a truck that goes around to the different ministries, picks up the material, and brings it here where it's hand sorted by a team of adults with disabilities. The recycling piece is great, but it's also the community piece because we're supplying jobs to the underserved and we're able to recycle as, as much as we can. Healthcare is really pa packaging heavy, so there's a lot of cardboard, box board, film plastic, rigid plastic inserts, and then there's film plastics. A lot of that stuff you cannot do uh, any other way other than hand sorting it. And once it's hand sorted, it's densified in a baler. And then we ship this to our one of our business partners that takes the material and recycles it. The majority of our plastic goes to Denton Plastic, one of our business partners, and they're five miles away from here. So it's really a community-based program. Providence and Denton Plastics have been partners for over 10 years. We've developed, in my mind, the most successful relationship with the hospital in this area to recycle as much as possible. We not only recycle plastics, but we also compound and make new products out of our recycled pellets. So Providence will get in different materials. We also get rigid plastics like it could be bedpans, it could be trays, and we will go through and audit the materials and develop new feed streams from Providence as things change in the hospitals. Mike Geller and I have worked together for a long time and it's been a great relationship between the two of us. So tell me about the process. What happens from the time that that material shows up here and then goes out to be something new? That's kind of the fun part. What we get to do is bring the material in, we audit it and test it, and then it goes through either our grinders or shredders in a way to break it down into smaller pieces. We actually make recipes, and those recipes go into our extruder, and we come out and we make plastic pellets at the end. Those pellets are then shipped to other molding companies across the Pacific Northwest to make new products. Is there anything that really stands out about your relationship with Providence? I think the thing that stands out is the test of time. We have done such a great job together at figuring out new materials. A lot of things change what's sold at hospitals, but we have great communication. They have by far the highest volume of any hospital that recycles in the area. And we will work with them to bring it in here and make sure it gets recycled in a responsible manner. To learn more about how Providence and Denton Plastics benefit our environment and our community, visit Providence.org.